Question 129 of Leak Code, Sum Root to Leaf Numbers. So you're given the root of a binary tree containing digits from 0 to 9 only. Each root to leaf path in the tree represents a number. For example, the root to leaf path 1, 2, 3 represents the numbers 1, 2, 3. Return the total sum of all root to leaf numbers. Test cases are generated so that the answers will fit in a 32-bit integer. The leaf node is a node with no children. So we've got a couple of examples down here. This is going to return 25 because we have 1 and 2, which is equal to 12, and 1 and 3, which is equal to 13. So it total equals 25, which is 12 plus 13. Here we've got 495 plus 491 plus 40, which gives us 1026. So let's work out a solution to this problem. So we're going to be using some kind of recursive solution. And we know that at each level, we need to pass down the current value. So what we can create is we can create a current array. And this is going to store at each level, this will store the values that it's going to. So at the first level, at this level, current R is going to equal 4. At this level, it's going to equal 9. At this level, it's going to equal 5. Okay. And remember, a leaf is defined as a node with no children. So both the children, the left and right child, are going to be pointing to null. So now we know we're at a leaf node. We can ultimately push this into res. But first, we need to adapt it. So we need to convert it to 4, 9, 5. And then we can push it into a results array. So it'll be 4, 9, 5. Then we need to backtrack. So we need to pop off, go to this level, See that we've got a right child we can look at. Add to current array. So at this stage, current array will be 4, 9, and 1. We're pointing to null here. So this is a leaf node. So we know we're at the end. At the end, what happens? We convert this to 4, 9, 1. And then we push into results 4, 9, 1. Now we're at the end of this. We need to backtrack. Go back to this level. Is there anything else to check? No. Nope. Go to this level. Is there anything else to check? Yes, we've got a right child that we need to check. Current back at this level is 4. Current array at this level will be 4 and 0. We're going to be pointing to null, so we know it's a leaf node. So what do we do when it's a leaf node? We convert this to 4, 0, and we push into the res array. And now that we've completed this, we'll pop off here, backtrack. So we get back to this level. We realize there's no other path to go down, and that is the recursion done. Now there's a little bit more computation which is involved and that is just adding these up. So we can just loop through these and add them up and then we'll get the value that we wanted and we can return that. So time complexity on this one is O of N. Since we have to visit each node once, space is also O of N, where in worst case scenario, we're going to store all the values within current array. So let res equal an empty array, we'll create the recursive function. So recurse will pass in root and current array. We'll call it below, pass in root and an empty array. And then firstly, within the function, we need to do a sanity check. So if root is equal to null, return zero, because we know that there isn't going to be any kind of sum in this whatsoever, so we can return zero. Then we can push into R the value at root. Once we've done that, we need to check whether it's a child node. And the way we do that is we check root. So see if root.left is equal to null and root.right is equal to null. Now we need to perform an operation to convert the array into a number. So new num equals. So this is current r.join. So this will join the array but it will be in a type string. So we need to convert that to a number. So we encapsulate this with number. And then we can push this into res. Then we recurse down the left side and down the right side. And finally, we need to backtrack. So we need to pop off of current R check all potential solutions. After that is complete, in res will be an array of numbers. And now we just need to add those numbers up. So a simple way of doing that is declaring a variable nums, which is equal to zero, looping through res. And 
and then add in two nums, res at i. And then we can return nums and check to see if this has worked. Okay, it's been accepted. Let's submit it. And there you have it.